Hey guys, I wanted to make a really quick video and show you this picture that Treyarch Snapchatted today. It appears to be a picture, well, a blurry picture of a Japanese katana. It's got some blood on it and I guess those look a little bit like maybe some petals coming off of something. Treyarch joined Snapchat the other day and we knew we might be getting some revealing images and this looks like this is the first one. And I know we're all thinking after seeing this image, does this mean we're getting the katana for Tokyo finally after they keep teasing it to us in all these cutscenes? The model character Takio that we play with wields a katana on his waist and yet we never get to use it. I guess we were all thinking that maybe someday we will and you can see him like using it in the Origins cutscene. It's like the most awesome scene ever and then you see it again in the opening cutscene for the giant. All these DLCs keep passing by and we're not seeing this katana and multiplayer is getting some really cool melee weapons and swords. I mean we got the swords and shadows of evil but that's not the same thing. Then here comes DLC 2. This is the story that surrounds Takio. We're gonna see this katana. We know it. Then some information had gotten out that one of the wonder weapons was gonna be called the Masamune. Masamune is actually the name of a person that crafted some of the best katanas and his weapons were like the most sought after. So once this information got out, we were all thinking, yeah, this is gonna be the sword. It's gotta be the sword. And it ended up being the upgrade to the KT-4, which shoots ass. I mean, the KT-4 and the Masamune are pretty cool weapons, but I think we all still wanted to see this katana. This was the perfect DLC for it. Maybe Treyarch thought, oh, that'd be too obvious. Giving him a katana, they expect it. It's gonna happen. That would be too boring. Let's do some crazy looking steampunk gun. And maybe Treyarch never intended to give us this katana that they keep hinting to us in all these cutscenes. Maybe there was enough of an outcry from us as fans and players that they decided to do something for us, and they're finally gonna do it for us in DLC 4. I mean, look what they did for the gobble gum, the banana colada. They actually made a whole gobble gum because the community talked so much about it and they wanted it. So this could be what they're doing with this. So it's obvious that they do listen to us and they try to give us what we want. And I think there's been enough people in the community to talk about this katana that they really had no choice at this point. We got to see this thing before the end of zombies. Or maybe they had planned for this the whole time. If you compare the image that Treyarch Snapchatted to the trailer image of Taki pulling out his katana. Yeah, you can tell that these are very similar. That Snapchatted image is definitely a Japanese katana. There's no doubt about that. So the question is, is this image Takio's katana? Are we going to get to use it in DLC 4? Guess we're going to have to wait to find out. Let me know what you guys think about this and we'll see you next video.